Welcome to Daily Headlines, your fastest news reporter. Please subscribe and check the notification bell to get latest news updated. On Tuesday morning, President Trump retweeted a Fox News story involving classified security information provided to a reporter by anonymous U.S. officials. The report, headlined U.S. spy satellites detect North Korea moving anti-ship cruise missiles to patrol boat, cites U.S. officials with knowledge of the latest intelligence in the region who said U.S. spy agencies detected the rogue communist regime loading two anti-ship cruise missiles on a patrol boat on the country's east coast just days ago. Hours earlier, Fox and Friends co-host Brian Kilmed tweeted a poll asking if members of the media should be prosecuted for publishing classified information. 55% of Kilmed's followers answered yes. Hours later, UN Ambassador Nikki Haley appeared on Kilmed's show and co-host Steve Ducey asked Haley about the story about North Korean missiles on the front page of FOXNEWS.com. Haley said she couldn't respond because she can talk about anything that's classified. Trump shared the Fox News story featuring classified info after falsely accusing former FBI Director James Comey of engaging in the same sort of behavior. Trump's retweet also comes on the heels of him publicly criticizing his hand-picked Attorney General, Jeff Sessions, for not being tough enough on leakers. Trump spent a good chunk of his Tuesday morning watching Fox and Friends. He retweeted three separate stories shared by the show's Twitter account over a period of time lasting more than an hour. I want the Attorney General to be much tougher on the leaks from intelligence agencies, Trump said late last month. These are intelligence agencies. We cannot have that happen. In May, Trump shared highly classified counterterrorism intelligence with Russian Ambassador Sergei Kislyak and Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov during an Oval Office meeting. Word of Trump's carelessness was leaked to the Washington Post by current and former U.S. officials, and the White House didn't deny that the leak was accurate. As Trump's recklessness was widely criticized, he took to Twitter to defend himself. In his very next tweet, Trump was back to blasting Comey who he had fired one week earlier for not being tough enough on leakers.